hacer pipí al baño, no se ha echado cano. Componente, perro. Si ve a la palabra, basura. Si ve a la palabra de Cristo, mi madre. Okay, guys, good evening. Um, it's eight o'clock, so we're going to start the class today. Um, I hope you're doing great. How's it going? Fine. Fine? Great. I'm fine, and it's kind of raining. I hope the noise don't bother us. Noise doesn't bother us, doesn't bother us. Okay, yeah. It's actually getting hot, right? When it rains, it gets hot before the rain, right? Yes. Okay. When it's... So we're in intermediate three. Intermediate three. Great. Okay, so what do you do, guys? Tell me a little bit about yourself. About yourself. Who starts? <laughs> me. <laughs> Good okay. evening. Hello. Good evening. Alicia. Hello. Good evening. Uh, my name is Alicia Lopez, and I am a science teacher. And uh, I would like uh, to teach science in English. And I, I am happy for learning in this course. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome, Alicia. So, an English and a science you. teacher, and you want to yes. teach. You want to teach um, science in English, or do you want to yes. teach English? No, science. Do both. <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's easy. It's easy. Don't worry. You'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Learn in English. I hope is, so. <laughs> yeah, and that's uh, that's very interesting, actually. Science. I was doing an experiment with one of my kids yesterday how to do a filter, yeah. a water filter with carbon, you know, and rocks and sand. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Okay. That's great. Who else wants to participate? Okay, it's my turn. Uh, my name is Jesus Maximiliano Mendez. Uh, my friends call me Max, just Max. Uh, I already know a little bit uh, of English. I, I think I need to practice a lot, but I studied uh, 10 years ago at the University of El Salvador and now I'm trying to to get better in pronunciation. I know vocabulary but the words just don't come easy. So I'm very happy to be here with you <laughs> and it's great to listen to people uh, speaking in English. Uh, we all going to make some mistakes and that's 
I believe that's why we're here. Excellent. Yes, you are here to make mistakes. Repeat, Max, mistakes. Yeah. Okay, so mistakes. You, yeah, let's go with the first word. Started. 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 Max? Started. Yeah, started. Started. Uh -huh. Then the next started. word is very common. Everyone tends to say, st study it or uh, I'm sorry, everybody started. tends to say, no, I'm sorry, pronunciation. It's very common for people to say pronunciation, but it's actually like, it's a nasal sound, it's a nasal sound. So you cover, if you cover your, doubt, your nose, cover your nose with your fingers. Now like try, yeah, just cover your nose. Now try to say niño. 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 Well, where's the ñ? Where's the ñ? Niño. Niño, right? Niño. Niño. So that feeling, Niño. that feeling that you get here is what you need to feel when you say pronunciation. 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 There you go. You see? Easy, right? Pronunciation. 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 Then, like when you say Nancy. Nancy, right? That pronunciation. There you go. Very good, Max. Now, mistakes. Yeah. Mistakes. Mistakes. You you use a phrase. You use a phrase from a song. You use a phrase from a song. Everybody makes mistakes. No, you said something else. We all make mistakes. I think you said something like that. It's part of a song. Yeah. I learned. I learned English. Um with songs actually essentially that's the way i learned if you watch did you watch the video that i sent to you on the whatsapp group no i already i you already said, watched it and, and you said <laughs> that you you learned to speak english by yourself yeah with a dictionary since i was seven years old i was very poor so i i learned by myself and so i have i'm 38 years old you know but i have worked in many places same okay. here. Same here. <laughs> Have you ever applied to a call center, Max? Uh, several years ago, I tried, but uh, I, I, were, I did not know uh, some vocabulary related to computers. Related For example, computers. the person in the interview, uh -huh. the, the person in the interview asked me something like, do you know anything about PCs? <laughs> I didn't know what what PC was. <laughs> what a PC or, was. Yeah, I knew it, but it's a personal <laughs> computer. <laughs> PC. Yeah, it's a personal computer. Yeah, and I knew a lot about computers, but I didn't know that the vocabulary PC. in English. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Thank you, Max. Who is next? Can you select somebody? One of your classmates. We have Jennifer, Oscar, Elvis. Veronica, Beatriz, Mirna, Ninive, okay, Christian, and Iris. Oh, and Maria. Wow. Madeline. Okay. Maria Araya. It's Madeline. 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 I, I wrote a Maria, but I, all, all, all know my name is Madeline. I just changed it for you. I just changed it. It says Madeline Araya. Yes, of course. It's Good. my name. Tell us. Tell us about yourself. Okay. Okay. My name is um, Maria Delina Araya, but uh, all the old people know me, Madeline. This is my name. But uh, I'm a teacher. Um, I work in a Colegio del Espíritu Santo. I have many students. I, uh, I teach accountant. Uh, account. Um, Right now, I would like to to uh, to learn more English because I I would like to speak uh, I would like to speak as as well as American people as well as you, but I I need to understand more English, and I have uh, two two friends in this course, uh, Alicia and Iris. Uh, I. They, they are my friends here in the course. Um, it's a pleasure to see you, teacher. Um, I'm glad to see you. Um, 
I don't know more. <laughs> I, I, I need to learn more English. Uh, you're forgetting important data here. Are you married? Do you have kids, guys? What's your life right now with all this pandemic? My life, I, I'm single. Um, okay. um, I don't have children. I, only my students are my children. <laughs> uh, I don't have boyfriend. Uh, no, I don't have husband. I have boyfriend, but I don't have husband. Um, I work near from my house. This is my my work. I, I love my students. I have children. I teach English to her, to them. I I would like to 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 sing in in, um, in yes because I like to sing sing and all all all. My time, my for my um, time off, free time. Part time, my part time. I I like a singer, a singer songs. In English, I I I like to to have many friends. Perfect. Okay. I love. It. I am. I was traveling at uh, the uh, other countries. Uh, I. I was in Chile, Argentina, Brazil, and USA, and, and only okay. <laughs> in my oh. life. Okay, excellent, very good. Okay, please take notes, okay? Every time you speak, which is the intention of this course, you will be talking, talking, and I will be correcting, correcting. Where's my scene? I know I have many, many mistakes. <laughs> I uh, have many mistakes, no. but- I, How do you know? How do you know? That's awesome. You keep talking and that's perfect, okay? Listen to- What do you look, think about my English teacher? I'm about to tell you right now. Look at the chat. Always keep the chat open if you can. Look at that. So repeat. Um, you had you had to say everybody knows me as Madeline. Okay. Uh, everybody every, knows. Me everybody as knows me as as Madeline. As Madeline. Okay. Now everybody you. Everybody knows. Yeah, okay. you, you teach. You said you teach account accounting. You were like doubting. Okay, accounting. Accounting. Yes. Yeah, me too. Everybody knows me. I teach accounting too. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, now guys, you don't pluralize the word children because the word children is the plural of child. Child. Okay, so the plural for child, these are called irregular plurals, okay? You have child, children. Um, near, repeat, near, near, near. 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 Exactly, near. Near okay. from here, near. I live, okay. I work near from here, perfect. Okay. Near. Second, Thank next you. word. You're, you're very kind with me, teachers. <laughs> with everybody, don't worry. I, I'm not a mad person. I don't like yelling at students or getting upset, you know, no, that's not with me. Okay, spare time. Spare Repeat. time. Spare. 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 Spare time. Spare, spare, spare time. time. Okay. And you can also use the word spare with tire, or you cannot see my tire right now. Okay, spare with tire, okay? Yes. <laughs> Llanta de repuesto, okay? Spare tire. No, okay. spare time is it the, the <laughs> part time is a, I know it's part. No, but part time is when you have a job in a half, the half of a job, you know, part time. Wow. You work only four hours, for example. Six, a hundred, five hours, four hours, exactly. Okay, I was traveling in the other countries. Can somebody paraphrase that sentence? I was traveling in the other countries. How do you say that? Yes. I Present perfect? I was, I, no, I told you, I told you I was traveling. So recently? No, it's um, 10 years ago. Okay, that's an experience and we use the present perfect. Perfect. Anybody? Yeah. Anybody? Max? Yeah. Uh -huh. How do you say that with present perfect experiences? I am travel. I was traveling in the other. I have. I have traveled to. Mm -hmm. To Puerto Rico. To. Okay. Argentina. To. <laughs> et cetera, yeah, et but helping your classmate. I have traveled 
to other countries. I have traveled. I have. I oh yeah. I, I have traveled. I have traveled to other countries. I've traveled. Good pronunciation, Alicia. Yes, I've traveled to other countries. I've traveled okay. to other countries. And get it, get it. Don't say it's, eh, it's only that. Oh, solo eso. Only that. No, you only have that. to say no. Forget about only that. You have to say that's it. Repeat. That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's, that's it. it. Repeat, that's repeat. It. And that's it. That's it. And that's it. And that's it. Can I that's say, it. And, and that's all? And that's all. And that's about it. And that's about it. Be natural. And that's all about it. And that's all about it. And that's it. And that's or it. you can do like Forrest Gump. Do you remember Forrest Gump? <laughs> yeah. Tom Hanks? I remember. And, that, and that's all I have to say about it. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Let's see. Iris, ladies first. Iris, would you like to join us? Thank you. Uh, my name is Iris Sanchez. I'm, um, I have my own business and I have a single mom. I have two girls and I am. Um, I know Madeleine in the other course. Yes. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Um, my my uh, um, my um, principal um, goal with this um, course is I I need to use for my business. And oh. recently. I can uh, talk about the uh, guy in, uh, in the other countries that the Chinese people, and I feel very good because uh, they understand me. And I need to improve my English, and this is my, my objective with this class. Perfect, excellent, so let's start, Iris. I know Madeline in the other course. Sorry about my typo. You know what is a typo? No? Typo, a mistake. Or a mistake what? when you type. A mistake when you type, okay? Okay, typo. okay so and that's a typo. My typo was the, the two H, those H and that, the, okay. In the other course, I know Madeline in the other course. You meant to say, I met Madeline in the previous course course okay i need to use for my business somebody can somebody correct that sentence really quick come on i need to use for my business i need to improve my english because of my business perfect the reason okay because of my business i need to use english in my business i english will be useful for me and my business okay and repeat pronunciation. If you notice, I use capital letters where you know that in English there is no there's no tilde, right? There's no tilde in English, right? There is stress, stress of the syllable. So there's just one syllable with stress. So whenever you get a new word, when you hear a new word, identify the stress of the word and put it on capital letters. So, for example, um, Iris said recently, she said recently. So the stress was in sen, recently. And the stress is on, at the beginning, recently. Re. Repeat, Iris, recently. 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 Perfect. That's the way. You see, always do that. Use capitals or you can use um, a little triangle on the top of the, of the syllable where the stress is. Okay, so if I say comfortable, where's the stress? Where is the stress? Comfortable. 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 There is a stress. Comfortable. 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 We're gonna talk about pronunciation today, okay? Later on. Who's next? Who is next, Iris? Can you select somebody? Oh, yeah. Nini uh, Sarai. Hello, Hello, Madeline. 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 Hello, Mad
my friend to do. Yes, Madeleine. <laughs> so, my name is Nini Vesarayi. It's a strange name. <laughs> I am divorced. I have two children. Uh, the oldest is 20, 21 years old and the young is 13 years old. Um, I live in a, in a big house with my sister, my nephew, and two friends. Uh, I work with the Cameron Hotel. I work here uh, since 2009. So I have around 11 years with this company. I, uh, my objective with this course is improve my English. I use, I have to to send e emails in English. Uh, so I can write, but I, I know my pronunciation is not good. <laughs> so I, I hope this this help to me for improve my pronunciation. <laughs> okay, good. Hold on. <laughs> Okay. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> one second. Okay, let's yeah, go with this. Look at the chat. Look at the chat. Yes, yes, nice yes. to meet you. Nice to meet you. I love weird names. I love weird <laughs> names. I, I, I don't like, I really don't like my name, you know. Rafael is too common. And <laughs> Americans, Americans call me Rafael. Rafael. Yeah. Yeah. And I hate when people don't, never, never do this, okay? I really don't like people to call me Lito. Like, what? <laughs> no, okay. So, hey, Lito. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> okay, instead of, okay, never. Don't do that. Don't do that, okay? Okay. <laughs> anyway, <Just> so, <laughs> thank you. You better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, strange. Instead of instead of strange, let's use weird. Weird. Oh, weird. Yeah, you said mine is mine is a weird name. It's not a common name. <laughs> now, algo muy importante, chicos, en su nivel es los final sounds, los sonidos finales. En cada palabra de inglés tiene un sonido final. Okay, so instead of instead of, do you get that word? Instead of. Yeah. Yeah, you got it? It's a connector, right? Instead of. Okay. Oh, en lugar de. Okay. Instead of I were, I were. Okay. You have to say I, I work. work. I work. Work. Yeah, I work. Put, put your hand, put your hand, put your hand here in your throat and say work. 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 You see that? Work. Okay. <laughs> repeat, repeat. Around. 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 Make it longer. Around. Around. There you go. Next word. Next word. Say course. Course. This is an English course. 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 If you say course, is maldición. I curse you. I curse you. <laughs> course. 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 Of course, of course, get it? Of course. Okay, and be careful. When you use for, okay, you need to have a noun, okay? And when you use to, you need a verb, okay? So you don't say for, for cook, you say to cook, okay? Got it, okay. Next, Veronica, I guess. Girls, girls. Ladies first. Okay. okay, good evening, everybody. And nice to meet you, teacher. My name is Veronica. Hey, I work Veronica. in... Hello. Hello, Nini. <laughs> Digo, Madeline, sorry. <laughs> um, I work in ONG. I'm on psychology. Uh, I live with my brothers and my aunt. I'm, uh, I'm not married. And I don't, I don't have kids. And I have a pet. It's a dog, and his name is Dumbo. Only that. 
Ah, uh, uh, no, and my objective uh, in this course is improve my English <laughs> like I was. Perfect. Okay. Remember, you cannot have two verbs together. Is to improve okay. my English. <clears throat> yeah? Okay. Good. Hey, good. Good pronunciation, Veronica. Just one thing. Aunt. Say aunt. Uh, aunt. Aunt. It's like an O. Aunt. 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 My aunt. My aunt. Aunt. Okay. Or aunt. You know what What are ants, right? Yeah. Aunt is an insect. Uh, yeah. It's an insect. Aunt. Aunt. Yeah. Got it. Very good. Aunt. Oh. Great job. Who's next? I am missing um, Gabriela, Mirna, Beatriz, uh, Jennifer, Beatriz Alegría, and Jessica. And Beatriz Alias. Oh, wait. Okay. Next. Mm. Come on, guys. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Come on. Talk, 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 talk. <laughs> hey, can, me va a can, can you hear me? Who's that? <laughs> Sorry. I'm sweating here. Oh, uh, where? Jennifer? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Um, hello, everybody. My name is Jennifer. I'm a nutrition student. Student. Um, I don't know why I have two pets too. And well, I think my life uh, after COVID, it was very uh, weird too, because I don't know all my classes are online so it's, it's very it's very strange for me and yeah i hope to to i don't know learn more vocabulary and more uh, pronunciation i think excellent thank you very much see it's easy thank you jennifer hey good pronunciation actually pronunciation Okay, repeat, Jennifer. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Okay, it's like saying nan se. Forget about the se, nice. right? Pronunciation. Pronunciation. There you go, pronunciation. Pronunciation. Ahora sale un poco fresa. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Perfect. There you go. Okay, now repeat. Weird. 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 That's weird. so weird. Weird. The, the, okay, weird. Perfect. Excellent. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm dying. We have a model, right? There's a model in the classroom. Gabriela, I love your background. That color is amazing and you're white. Oh, and the, and the wind, you know, it's like. <laughs> it's Thank awesome. You. Hi, Gabriela. <laughs> Please introduce yourself. Hi. Well, um, good night, guys. Nice to meet you. Um, my name is Gabriela. Um, I actually, I live with my parents and my two daughters. Um, it's the first time that I'm taking this course. Um, and well, I expect to learn a lot, to practice more, um, to practice grammar things. And well, I think that I have a good vocabulary, but probably I need to practice my pronunciation. Um, and that's why I came here because I already know that we're gonna practice, we're gonna talk. And that's why, that's it. <laughs> Great, now tell me your secret. Is that your wall, the one on your background? Yeah, this is my bedroom. It looks, I love that color. That's my daughter's favorite color. Like it. Okay. Let's see. You say good night when you say good night. Okay. Good so night. you say, you have to say good evening. Good evening. When you're greeting, when you're greeting someone, hi, good evening. And when you leave, when you're going to bed, you say good night. Okay. Um, okay. And repeat. I think. I think. Oh. Think. Think. Sí, aquí no, think. que no les dé pena que les vean los dientes cholcos, así como los míos, ok, que exageren. Ahorita sí. necesito que exageren, ok. Every new word is exaggerate, ok, when you pronounce it. Of course, don't talk like that later. <laughs> you learned, ok. 
Great job. Okay, who are we missing here? Let's go with Adolfo. Adolfo, you're so serious. Oh, audio. Yeah, we cannot hear you. Wait, the microphone is here. <laughs> okay, we have some audio technical problems. I guess let's try first with and keep trying, keep trying at all for to see if it works. Elvis. Hi, can you hear me? Hey, Adolfo, yeah, you can we can hear you. Maybe the microphone the, of my microphone. It's fine. Hey, I'm uh, my name is uh, Adolfo Jonathan Rodriguez. I'm uh, in uh, Engineering, I work in the microfinancial uh, company, and I live with my wife and my two children and one dog. And uh, well, my objective uh, in this course is uh, is to improve my English, my pronunciation and vocabulary too. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Just one thing. Repeat. I'm an engineer. I'm an ingi engineer. I'm an engineer. I'm an engineer. I'm an engineer. Perfect. There you go. I'm an engineer. I'm an engineer. I'm an engineer. I'm an engineer. That's the way. The key, the key for pronunciation is repetition. Repetition, guys. Very good. Who else are we missing? Uh, Elvis. Yeah. Uh, good Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Elvis Abrego. I work for uh, Fruit de Luna El Salvador. Um, I have a family. I have a wife. I have a two daughters. Um, and I am degree in business administration. My goal is uh, uh, to learn English for we talk with American people for my for my job. I need English because uh, it's necessary for in, in my case because I try I I talk some uh, sometimes with American people. I need English. Good, good fruit of the loom. They're still in El Salvador. Fruit of yeah. the loom. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's go with uh, the manufacturing. The man, yeah, the the factory, the factory, right? Um, that's amazing. Okay. okay, name. Repeat name. 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 Yeah, if you say name, look name. Name. No, you say name. 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 Okay, I'm a business name. administrator. Name. Repeat, Elvis. <laughs> I'm a business admin. Easy. I'm a business admin. Um, I'm a business administrator. I am business administrator. Or easier, easier, easier. I'm a business admin. I am I'm a business. I am business business administrator. Now, now say ama. Ama. So you're, you're, you're linking linking the words. Siempre para sonar natural unan las palabras, okay? You say business. You don't say I'm a business administrator, I'm a business admin, no. I'm a business admin. Okay? I'm a business administration. Okay. Great job. Let's move on. Oscar. Okay. Welcome. I'm a, I'm a Good business. Good evening. And well, I'm Oscar. I'm live in San Salvador yes. and I'm 20 year I'm 25 years old and I'm studying in this course because I want to achieve a good score on the toy test because Hello. I am in my graduate process and I have to take a test. And also, uh, uh, and I'm working at Promerica Bank. I am in communication area and I live with my father and only that, I think that this 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 uh, this group 
is a good opportunity for me to practice a lot because I need to improve my uh, grammatical, uh, the grammatical skills. skills and also the speaking too. Perfect. Okay, great job. Repeat. I live. You don't say I'm um, live. No, you say I live. I live. In San Salvador, right. Okay. Repeat. Course. 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 You said it before, but you, you were not here. Gradu okay. Graduation. Graduation. No, wait. Graduation. Gradu gradu graduation. Graduation. Gradu graduation. 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 Yes. My graduation process. I'm in my graduation yeah. process. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> repeat. Area. 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 Area 51. Repeat. Area 51. Area 51. Yeah. There you go. And don't say only that. Say, that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. That's it. That's, that's it. ¿Por qué no decimos only that? Can somebody tell me why don't you say only that? It's weird. Yeah, that's that's from Spanish, it sounds right? Like... Spanish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, a Spanish thing was translating. Okay, so that's it. And let's see who else is missing. Veronica, Mirna, both Beatriz and Jessica. Hello. <laughs> My name is Patricia Rodriguez. I like all me party. This the Nickname, I have two songs, I am uh, I, a uh, content, I work in EY, is the company of the, uh -huh. service, of the service, the Audi, and advisory tasks. Uh, my objective in this course is learn English. Because my English is is very 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 very, very bad. <laughs> you did a good exercise right there. Very 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 very. Can you do it again? Very very very. That's a good exercise. Very very very. very. Yeah. Don't say berry. Very. Very. Berry berry is a fruit. So berry very very. Okay. Very, very. Very very okay so let's go with you patty let me change that first so your name is patricia rodriguez yes patricia rodriguez it says mirna rodriguez de aguilar right there yes it's my oh. first name okay so let's <laughs> go with patricia rodriguez de aguilar okay uh so patty repeat where were you uh i like call me patty can somebody paraphrase can somebody correct that i like mm -hmm. call me patty I like call me Patty. Can somebody correct that sentence? Siempre le voy a estar preguntando. Corrijan a su compañero. Ayúdenme a repetir esa oración, pero de una buena manera. I like call me Patty. Oh, I like call me Patty. Has no sense, but I don't know how to. You don't know how it. to fix it? Okay. I like people call to me call me yeah. Patty. I like people to call me Patty. Or I like I like to be cold. Excellent. I like to be cold. And today we're going to study really quick. We're only missing 20 minutes. So we're going to learn how to use the passive voice. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and continue. Okay. Because we have to see that part. We're going to talk about the passive voice. Okay. Okay. And we will continue. Remind me. Remind me tomorrow to have Beatriz, Elias, okay, Jessica Rodriguez, Arabella Parada, Beatriz Alegría. Okay, we have four people still missing and Christian Aguilera. So we're five, five still missing to introduce themselves, okay? Got it? Okay. Good. Okay, guys, I'm gonna start the presentation and I will share my screen with you. Okay, so let's talk about the passive voice. I don't know what happened with the presentation. Okay, not working, hold on. Okay, oh, I see. 
my bad. There it is, okay. So let's talk about the passive voice with by. So, oh, there's one thing that we need to do. Did you visit the platform? No, teacher. Come Two on. Two days ago. <laughs> Two days no. ago. Yeah, I watched the video. Did you watch the video? Okay. Now, question, have you accessed the platform? Yes. Yes, I have. Did you have no. any inconvenient accessing the platform? I forgot my the password. I need to reset. Okay, please text the WhatsApp group. I will tell you. You can text um, Elena. Okay, you may know Elena. So, once you access the platform, the first point we need to study is the the passive voice. So, what is the passive voice? Let's let's watch the video. Okay, so we can get to know a little bit more about this topic. Okay, just change the view here. Okay, please pay attention. Another module, this time we'll study passive with by. But before we go deep into the topic, let me tell you what passive voice does to a sentence. Passive voice changes the emphasis on a sentence. In other words, we may say the same thing in a different way. You may be wondering when to use it. Passive voice is the best way to express an idea when, number one, we don't know who did the action, number two, there's no doer of an action, and number three, the fact is more important than the doer of an action. As always, I will ask you to stay around and stay for the explanation. We will compare active with passive, so you see the difference and notice the emphasis on each one. We will give you examples of each use as well as the structure of passive voice. Passive with by, simple past. The passive changes the focus of a sentence. For the simple past, use the past of be plus past participle. Active. The president opened the building in 1931. Passive. It was opened by the president in 1931. Active. An American architect designed the building. Passive. It was designed by an American architect. I have this scrabble sentence for you. My sister, this book, in 2010, wrote. Can you try to unscramble the sentence and make sense of it? Okay, there's an exercise really quick for you to try to unscramble the sentence. Please try it. You have 15 seconds. See if you can make it. I My will sister give you wrote. Oh, go ahead. It's just 15 seconds. So everybody just try and then I will pause the video so you can tell me if you got the right answer, okay? 15 seconds. My sister. Great. So we. Okay, what's the sentence? My sister wrote this book. Passive or inactive? This is active, passive. right? It's active. Good, yeah. Max. Yeah. It is active, right? Madeline, continue. My sister wrote. My sister wrote this book in, to, uh, in 2010. Good. That's the one. Very good. Now, okay, let's watch the passive. Up with. My sister wrote this book in 2010. Now in English, we can say the same things in another way. Let's work with another scramble sentence and let's do the same and scramble it and make sense of it. This time, I will give you 20 seconds. My sister, this book, by, in 2010, written, was. Were you able to do it? I hope you did.
was uh, this book uh, this, this book, book was, was written by my sister in 2010 was written this book by this book was written was written by my sister in 2010 by my yeah. sister ah but now let's mm -hmm. take a look at each sentence in this first sentence which by the way is in active voice the emphasis is on my sister it was not susanna who wrote the book it was my sister this sister. book was written by my sister this book is the object was was or were written is the past participle of the verb by by my sister is the subject in this second <laughs> sentence we're using passive voice and the emphasis is on this book the most important fact is that the book was written now let's write examples for the uses previously mentioned in our intro video remember we don't know who did the action my house was broken into on Friday. Who broke into our house? We don't know. Number two, there is no doer of the action. He was killed in an earthquake. There is no doer of this action. The last use, the fact is more important than the doer of the action. My dog was run over by a car. What happened to my dog is more important than the doer. Finally, let's go over the structure of the passive and simple past. Because we're using passive in simple past, this is what we'll use. Was, were, plus past participle. Before we go, we want you to work on the following sentences so you're able to practice. Our sentences are in active voice. Your work is to switch them to passive voice. Please write them on our discussion box. Number one, mom prepared the food. Number two, all the employees read the memo. Number three, the boy ate the cake. Okay, so all of these exercises are on your, um, here on the discussion yeah. forum. And you're supposed to write down, and this is for after the class, after the class, go to the platform, and at the bottom, don't forget, there's a discussion forum. Okay, so I will... Just leave this in the discussion forum for you to continue and add a post with the passive voice of these sentences. Now, let's move on. I had prepared a little, a little uh, presentation for you with the same topic, okay? So can you see the screen? All good? Yes. Okay, yes. let's go quickly through this topic. Okay, so passive voice with by. Let's make sense. Let's make sense out of this, okay? The first sentence is Rosa escribió un libro, but in Spanish, and that's the active voice, okay? So you have active, Rosa escribió un libro. What is the passive voice in Spanish? Rosa. Un libro, un libro fue escrito por Rosa. Opa. Un libro fue yeah, escrito yeah. por Rosa. There you go. <laughs> so there's your challenge. How do you translate this to English? Rosa written a book. Rosa wrote 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 a book. What? 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 Again, Veronica? Written by Rosa. Wait. book was written by Rosa. Perfect, Veronica. You got it. Both. Rosa wrote a book. Wrote a book. Rosa wrote a book. Wrote a book. Wrote a book. Wrote a book. Now, now a, a book, a book was written by Rosa. Let's go with the second one. Let's go. Carlos apagó la TV. La TV fue apagada por Carlos. <laughs> Carlos John. Oh. Yeah, Adolfo, Adolfo, Adolfo. Adolfo. Go, Adolfo. Uh, Carlos turned off. Turn off. The TV, the TV, uh, the the TV, TV was, uh, was the TV turn, was turning turn, off by, by Carlos. Carlos. The TV by was turned off by Carlos. Thank you. When I say your name, try to speak only you. Okay. If I say Rodolfo, just Rodolfo. Okay. So if you speak first, okay. I will I will select you. Okay. So. I'll... 
Adolfo, good job. It says Carlos turned. Now listen, Carlos turned. 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 It's the past. Listen, turn. present, present, turn. Tom, turn. Per, listen, look, turn. look, 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 turn, turn. The past, turned, turned. Turned. Tom. Okay. Turn. Carlos turned off the TV. The TV was turned off by Carlos. Next. El perro, perro destruyó la manguera. La manguera <laughs> fue destruida por el perro. The dog destroyed. The how do you say manguera in English? How do you yeah. say? Perfect. Hey Max, repeat. How do you? How do you? How, how do, do you say? How do you? How do you say manguera in English? You say horse. Horse. Oh, horse. H O S E. H O E A E. S E S E H O S E. The dog destroyed the house. The house was destroyed by the dog. Perfect. There you go. You got it, Max. The hose was destroyed by the dog. Okay. Next. Somebody else. El vecino cortó nuestro árbol. El árbol fue cortado por nuestro vecino. Somebody else. Somebody else. Not Max, not Adolfo, not Veronica. The neighbor. No. Alicia. Oh, the neighbor. The neighbor uh, cut our tree. Mm -hmm. uh, the tree was cut was cut for our neighbor. What do we use instead of for? Mm. Look at the previous Stop. examples. Look at the previous examples. You have by. Ah yes, the tree uh, was cut by our uh, neighbor. Our neighbor. That's it. Mm -hmm. Hey, so what is the past participle of cut? Cut. Cut. Cut, cut, cut. cut, cut, cut. It's a regular verb. Okay, perfect. It's an irregular hey, verb. Is it correct? In that case, is it correct to say cut off? It was cut enough. Cut, I think cut British, off. British. Cut off. Yes, you can say that and it's more explicit using that phrasal verb, you're using a phrasal verb, which implies, which implies the action of off, completely, cut it Completely. Off. Yeah, um, removed, removed. Very good, so what's the structure, guys? What is the structure? I want you to take notes or watch this video later, okay? There's the structure, you have an object. Keep an eye, keep an eye on this, it's object not a subject because we don't have a doer of an action. We have an object where we want to emphasize, okay? So we have an object, the verb to be, the past participle, and then you have by and the doer. Now, really quick, quiero hacer énfasis en que aquí, y lo voy a decir en español porque es la primera vez que miran esta estructura, la mayoría, El verbo que se ve afectado en, el, en la voz pasiva es el auxiliar. Por ende, el verbo to be es el que vas a mover en el tiempo gramatical que estés ocupando. A ese le vas a agregar el will antes y ahora sería will be. Okay? A ese le vas a agregar el have o has antes y a él se va a quedar en been. Will or have been, for example. Have been eaten, for example. ¿Sí se entiende eso? A él Los se va a ver afectado. No, el verbo to be es tu auxiliar en la voz pasiva, digamos. Y él es el que se va a ver afectado al agregar la negativa. So, vamos a ver varios ejemplos ahorita para que lo entendas, pero grábate solamente. El verbo to be es tu auxiliar en la voz pasiva. Y él se va a ver afectado por los tiempos gramaticales que utilices. A él lo vas a convertir a futuro, a pasado, a presente, pasado continuo, presente continuo. ¿Ok? So, let's mm -hmm. look. Look at this. So you have the object, a book, to be, was, was. written, past participle, by, 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 by Mary. By my... Okay, this is just an example. So you can go replace. Ahora, me voy a detener un segundo. Necesito que ustedes agarren estructuras si aún no lo saben. 
ese tiempo gramatical de la Passive Voice, ya lo pueden empezar a aplicar en positivo, negativo y pregunta. ¿Cómo lo hago? ¿Cuál sería el negativo de esta oración? Somebody, quickly. Was not. wasn't written by Mary. You're awesome, was guys. The book written by Mary. Perfect. That's the way. You got it. So neg positive, negative, and question. Make samples, get a notebook, and make a lot of examples. Now, I have a brief story for you. Can you identify the passive voice among this story? So, how do the, we do this? Words. Identify the passive voice sentences, okay? Mm -hmm. So, let's start with Max. Max, can you read the first paragraph? One, two, three, go. Oh. Police were called to Banco Salvadoreño yesterday. The bank was robbed at 11.30 a.m. Two million dollars was stolen. No customer were hurt, hurt, but a robber was shot by police. Okay, um, let me see. Je Jessica, I think, hold on. Who else do we have here? Is there a Jessica on the team? I'm sorry. Yeah, or Iris. Iris, if you want, please. Okay, the bank robbers were found. Many clothes were left at the bank. Over the bank users were taken as hostages. Hostages. Hostages and were inter interviewed by the news media and they all made additional <coughs> the cameras were shut down by the thieves thieves with sticks with sticks excellent now you gave your example i will read this again please watch the video later and listen and Teacher, repeat wait. Teacher, i i have a doubt um in this sentence, two million dollars uh, <laughs> should be there the verb where instead of was. Money, uncountable. Good question. It's uncountable. No, million dollars. but you're talking about million. Dollars. I it's can't money. count million. I know, oh. I know, believe me, it's single, it's singular. I had the same question too when I saw this. I was like, wait. We will find out, two okay? Million. Yeah, I know, it's confusing. One million, two million, three million. But you cannot yeah. say millions. I will tell you later. Okay, listen. Police were called to Banco Salvadoreño yesterday. The bank was robbed at 11.30 a.m. Two million dollars was stolen. Money was stolen, Max. No customers were hurt, but a robber was shot by police. The bank robbers weren't found. Many clues were left at the bank. Over 15 bank users were taken as hostages and were interviewed by the news media and they all mentioned how the cameras were shot down by the thieves with sticks. Okay, Max, identify the first sentence with passive voice. Police were called. Excellent, that's number one. Gabriela, next. The bank was robbed. The I bank was know. robbed, perfect. Okay, Alicia, next. Mm, Two million dollars was stolen. Was stolen, good. Was stolen. Thank you. Beatriz Alegría. I'm not sure, but could be no customers were hurt, but. You got it. No customers were hurt. Okay. Jessica Rodriguez. A robber was shot by police. Perfect. Madeline. Um, hostage uh, were interviewed. Huh? Sorry. No hostages were. I got lost. I'm sorry. Yeah. The bank robber wouldn't 
You got it, Veronica. The bank robbers weren't found. Many, and, and the next one? Uh, many clues were left. Perfect. Next, next, next. Um, the, the... Over. Mm -hmm. Over 15 bank users were taken. Uh, as were taken, uh-huh. Were taken were as taken hostages. hostages. Very good. Next. And were interviewed. And were interviewed, okay. Ne news. Excellent, Adolfo. Okay, let me go again with, um, who else do we have here? Elvis, where's Elvis? By the new, by the new, by the new media and they all mentioned who the cameras were shut down by the... The cameras were dirt. shut down. Okay. Push down the... Yeah, push down. This thing. There you go. We're shut down. So that shut those down. are, yeah, those were the the passive voice sentences. Okay. So that's it for today. And that was one hour. Okay. So, ¿cómo vamos a estar trabajando? Aparte, lo más importante para ustedes, y perdón que me tome un minuto en, en inglés español, pero es necesario que quede claro eso. Lo único que se les solicita dentro del programa de la beca es meterse en la plataforma y hacer los ejercicios. Si ustedes los completan antes, pues no hay problema, ¿no? Muchos de ustedes ya tienen conocimiento previo. Si creen saberlo y lo quieren intentar, si quieren equivocar, denle. Pueden hacerlo varias veces el ejercicio que sigue ahorita en la plataforma, el 1.2. Si tienen alguna duda, escríbanme a cualquier hora. Yo estoy despierto desde las 4 de la mañana y me acuesto casi a las 12 de la noche. So, What's your, your telephone number? It's on the chat. Telephone. Yeah, it's, it's on the fun. chat. Yeah. I, voy a enviar de nuevo el video que envié presentándome porque algunos hasta ahora se agregaron al, al WhatsApp group. Si no lo han hecho, agréguense al, al WhatsApp group. Les voy a enviar de nuevo el listado de verbos que envié, donde está el presente, okay. pasado y el participio de los verbos. Y pues, principalmente eso, eso le voy a exigir nada más, meterse a la plataforma, completar los ejercicios. Y el que quiera aprender, pues que siga la dieta, que es agarrar un verbo y una palabra relacionada a ese verbo. Y con eso, haces positivo, negativo, pregunta del tiempo gramatical que estamos viendo. De los tiempos gramaticales que se te hagan difíciles, haces cinco verbos, cinco palabras, todos los días. Positivo, negativo, pregunta de cada verbo. Y cada palabra, agarra un cuaderno y hace eso repetidas veces con colores, ¿sí? Y um, esa es la clave que yo descubrí en el 2016. Fui gerente de una academia gracias a que descubrí esa metodología y nos dio éxito. O sea, nos dio uh, mucho, fue muy efectivo. Nos ayudó a ayudar a muchas personas a que hablaran súper rápido. So, ok, para practicar eso vamos a hacer. Eh, teacher, ¿va, ¿va a pasar asistencia al final o...? Fíjese que no, me dijeron que no había problema, porque como queda grabada la sesión, ah, okay. ustedes han ingresado, si notaron, se les pidió que metieran todo el nombre al ingresar, sí, sí. Su número, el número de teléfono de Elena para accesar las sesiones. Sí, había una clave ahí. Uh, uh -huh. Esa clave es un número de teléfono. Ah, ok. El número de teléfono corresponde a Elena, que es quien da soporte también okay. de parte de Inglés Corporativo, por si no lo, no lo captaron eso. No. Ok, es un mensaje subliminal. Jennifer, siento que me está sonriendo con esa foto, no se movió. Traten de encender la cámara, si sí pueden, si sí pueden. Ok, bien chicos, eh, les veo mañana. Escríbanme si necesitan ayuda con algo de la plataforma o algo de lo que no haya entendido. Okay. Turn telephone, cell phone. Please, it's, I don't uh, have... It's in the chat, Madeline. It's on the chat. The chat. It's on the chat. Yes, I have to go. Okay. 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 Take care. See you Bye -bye. Thank you. Good, Good night, tomorrow. everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.